Hello, this is Steve Marinucci welcoming you to another Beatles News Briefs for October 18th, 2018. Um, let's start off with some chart news and we're going to go from the bottom of the chart up. Uh, this is the Billboard 200 chart dated uh, October 20th. Um, Abbey Road is number 189, up one spot from 190 from the previous week. Beatles 1 is 178, down from 163 the previous week. Uh, Egypt Station is now at 146, down from number 72 the previous week. And clocking in uh, at number 83, uh, a return to the chart for John Lennon's Imagine. Um, and obviously that's timed uh, because of the re-release of the Lennon uh, Imagine box set. Now we've heard some of the White Album box set and um, I'm just going to make a couple of comments. The CD mix sounds punchier than previously. Um, the bass seems uh, uh, boosted. Um, we were listening to Dear Prudence last night and we noticed that. Um, and it appears some of the vocals have been punched up. And we also noticed a couple of things in the fade outs that seem to um, be a little more um, prominent than they used to be. Um, the Escher demos uh, we talked about on a previous report are in stereo and they sound tremendous. Um, so that uh, that's uh, that's been true of all of the uh, ones that we've heard so far. Um, the, uh, we've been having a lot of fun listening to the outtakes. The first outtake uh, I listened to was Revolution 1, Take 18, which is another le link between Revolution 1 and the Revolution 9 and the bootleg version, the uh, Take Your Knickers Off version that came out a few years ago. This one is longer than that, uh, though it's about 10 minutes long. And it's really... Um, it's really it really adds to that whole uh, thing that uh, the two songs are linked. Um, uh, Blackbird uh, 28 has a voice in two places that I'm pretty sure, for those of you who rem remember this name, is Francie Schwartz. Uh, Francie, if you're listening, you're on the box set. Um, those of you that remember my Abbey Road site, remember I interviewed her. We actually kept in touch for some time after that, but I have not heard from her in several years, and I have no way of knowing whether she's still with with us. I know someone with that name has posted, or did post on Usenet a few years ago, but I'm pretty sure that was not her. So, And another song that um, I listened to that uh, really uh, sounded really good was the version of uh, You're So Square, Baby, I Don't Care. Um, sung by Paul McCartney, complete with Echo, where he sounds just like Elvis Presley. The next bit of news is the fact that uh, today photos appeared online of what was purported to be the brand new McCartney archive releases for Red Rose and Wildlife, which I will remind you have not been announced yet. Um, so all of this is totally uh, unauthorized and unconfirmed. Um, track listings appeared for both sets online. Wildlife has uh, uh, let's see, uh, remastered album, CD2 rough mixes, CD3 bonus audio, and a DVD plus a 24-bit uh, unlimited high res audio download. Uh, Red Rose has remastered album CD2, a double album, um, presumably of outtakes, but also with some live tracks. CD3 bonus audio um, and two DVDs, uh, one of bonus, uh, bonus videos, including the James Paul McCartney TV special and DVD2, uh, the Bruce McMouse show. Um, and then also a Blu-ray with the Bruce McMouth show and audio downloads. Um, again, this is all unconfirmed. 
one thing that kind of set the rumor back was the rumor, and this all came from the Hoffman Forum for what it's worth, um, was the rumor that the announcement was going to be made on Thursday. Well, we've heard from sources that there will be no announcement on Thursday, or at least that's what we were told there will not be a, an announcement tomorrow on Thursday. So there you go there. Um, Okay, looking back in history, um, on October 18th, 1957, Paul McCartney played with the Quarrymen for the first time. 1967, How I Won the War premiered in London in 1967. 68, John and Yoko were busted for drugs in London by Officer Norman Pilcher. We, uh, the name Pilcher uh, should be familiar. He also busted George Harrison. Um, uh, Yoko had been um, announced as pregnant just a few days earlier, um, which caused a little bit of a furor because John and Yoko were still married to other people at the time. And Yoko's pregnancy ended in a miscarriage a few days after the arrest. Um, the drug-sniffing dogs found 200 grams of hashish, a cigarette rolling machine with traces of marijuana and half a gram of, mor a gram of morphine which John and Yoko said did not belong to them. John pleaded guilty because he was worried that Yoko would be deported and he was fined 150 pounds. And in 1969, Come Together charted. Um, and then on October 19th, 1963, the Beatles and Jerry and the Pacemakers merged for one night as the Beatmakers at Litherland Town Hall. That's about the news we have for today. Um, we'd like to give a special, special thank you to Matt Burley of Fab Four Radio for coming up with this idea and and uh, making it uh, the uh, original home. Um, it's also available on iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Stitcher, and wherever you can find your podcasts. Oh, and one other, one other. Uh, point of history for October 18th. It's the birthday of Mr. Chuck Berry. Um, anyway, uh, you can contact us at beatlesnewsdesk at gmail.com. We have a Beatles News and Information group on Facebook that you're welcome to join, where we post not only our own stories, um, but uh, other news stories, too. And we also have a Beatle News Briefs podcast, uh, the podcast uh, page on Facebook where we post news about this show. Thank you all for listening, and we will see you soon.